You are listening to This is Oklahoma, hosted by Mike Hearn, telling stories of Oklahomans and those that have made it their home. This podcast is presented by the Oklahoma Hall of Fame, telling Oklahoma stories through its people since 1927. Follow them online at oklahomahof.com and definitely on Instagram at oklahomahof. Let's get into today's episode. We also want to do events. Uh, We know that the fans are would want to come out and see uh, the builds that we just did for the Farm Truck and Asian show. Um, and, you know, we travel, yeah. uh, you know, to different tracks and mm-hmm. uh, venues. And uh, yeah. so we have lots of avenues to go down. Where haven't you been to that you want to go to? Places hmm. like car cultures to see around the world and, and stuff like that. I know also you mentioned you've been to Australia. But I, sure. I would like to... Uh, I think Wales. <laughs> sit, yeah. sit in a forest in Wales and watch some guy go sideways past you at 150 oh, mile an hour and then wait for the next guy to come past. Yeah. 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 We know this, we You know, know what they call those people? <laughs> they call those people the bobble hat crew. Because <laughs> they wear bobble hats and beanies because oh, really? okay. it's so cold. <laughs> yeah. Well, we know this YouTube influencer that does a podcast and he's from there. Yeah. yeah. I'll we take think you he's a there. very interesting guy. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll happily take you around. <laughs> I don't know. So you know, fun. something so crazy like Dubai. Yeah. Dubai, like bring crazy a hot rod to Dubai. Yeah. yeah. Sand, sure. sand oh buggy stuff God. that they have, right? They all have huge motors in them. perfect roads for miles yeah. and nobody's right. driving on with no curbs. It's yeah. like, God, you could just yeah. rather rip it all the way down. It, I don't know. Something crazy like that. I don't know. The Great Wall of China. Now, we've yeah. been uh, to a lot of different places. Yeah. Uh, and we get invites all the time. We actually got an invite to go to Dubai, uh, but we've been pretty busy filming the show and it's hard to get away yeah but, so. but anywhere crazy that we could do what we do um visiting's fun okay we well do. we yeah. could settle for wales couldn't we, we, we could, could settle for wales <laughs> <laughs> you need to take the weather here with you because <laughs> it's not you can't do anything no? in the rain okay well i, I can mean, figure that out you can do burnouts in the rain but that's not fun it's not gonna produce any smoke okay <laughs> so i mean the, the good thing about it though is like cars brings people together doesn't it like you've got cultures all over the world you that you know when you go there even if your culture's different, you can resonate. You know, like the Australians have the the mad burnout stuff, but they've also got, um, you know, like the the Ford Holden thing, right? Which is like, I mean, that's like Oklahoma, Texas. Like, it's a big deal. Um, And then, you know, you go to, like I said, Japan drifting, and Dubai is just, I mean, dripping in money, and you've got any, you know, sand buggies and drag stuff. But it's the beauty of it, and that's why I love, like, just cars and talking about cars is just it brings people together and brings people together that generally you probably wouldn't see you know you got someone even if you go to coffee and cars here you got someone that's got a million dollar McLaren sure next to a you know next to a guy who's who's got a, a truck that's been in his family from day one yes. and he's rebuilt it four times and yes it's so unique and that's the great thing about it and they can um, share the emotional exactly attachment. yeah and that's super you know, cool we always say um, it's the cars that bring us together and it's the people that keep us together mm-hmm. So. Yeah, and somehow he's managed to keep you around. For <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. It's probably the other way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, finishing up, thanks. I know we're getting a bit long. I know you guys like are super it. busy. Um, what's one thing that I guess you wish people would ask you? I, I mean, you've been into a show. You've probably been into it a ton of times. What are stuff like you can get into it? Like, I wish I want to talk about this. I wish people would I ask wish me about one thing. That you wouldn't ask us that question. <laughs> um, no, you have very good questions. Yeah, you do actually. Way. That's a very good question. I wish people would ask what, how to do this. Mm-hmm. If they want an inkling of how to do this, branding, uh, put themselves in front of the camera, yeah. uh, how to get their start. I wish people would ask more on how to do it. That people want to say, how'd you get that thing, man? Right. How'd you get that job? Right? Like, they don't want, they're not asking for themselves. No. I think so many people could improve themselves by removing these inefficiencies that prevent themselves from getting there. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. that's all it is. And, man, I'd, be, I'd love to tell someone how we did it. And maybe they can knock something loose. Right. Um, but nobody can. It isn't that they don't ask. They don't care. Got gotcha. you. I don't care, yeah. and and they would if they cared they'd ask because they'd be frothing to find someone to tell right. them how to do this better, but they don't, and so I guess the in- inquisition is lacking, and I really wish to see that sparkle in someone else's eye. Whatever you want to do, man, go ask someone who's already doing it. Yeah, go ask them yeah. all the questions, annoy them till they kick you out of their house. 
no one does that anymore. Yeah. Right. And that was me as a kid. I asked too many questions. Right. right. And he too, annoying. We're annoying. Yeah. And uh, but we wanted to know how to. What, I don't see that if anymore. If somebody came up and asked all those questions. We give them a job. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they don't want a job. Maybe, yeah. yeah. I don't know. What, what, how about you? What do you wish someone would? Um, I, I've never been asked that question. I don't know. Um, you know, I get sick of talking about me. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I like to talk about other people. And, you know, whenever I meet fans, yeah. um, you know, I, I'd, I'd rather talk about them uh, than me. Yeah. So. Was it like when, when, when people started being fans and coming up to you, did it make you feel uncomfortable at first? Oh, my God. Yeah. Why, why yeah. are you clambering over me? Why do you want, to, like, right. why do you want me to yeah. sign something? Like, For me, it's never left, right? Yeah. Like, I still uh, struggle with it because it's, a, it's an intense feeling of embarrassment. And right. I, don't, I can't explain it, right? Yeah. Like, it just feels embarrassing. Again, I can't explain it. So, but that's how I feel. Yeah. And I've, I've struggled to get over that. Um, no hate on them, nothing at all. But when someone comes just up on, to me, yeah, it's just a, a feeling that you're not used to, right? It's, immediate. I mean, it's, right? it's never gone away. Yeah. And so I immediately feel extremely embarrassed. Have you been on the other side of that and met through this the last mm-hmm. 10 years, met someone who's like, you looked up to, like they might be a race car driver or yeah. someone that you're like, M- oh, was I can't on, even uh, speak. Cause Dana you're, White was the one that I was like, yeah. Oh God, I gotta meet him. UFC then, Dana White. Yeah, I didn't yeah. really ask to, to meet yeah. him. They, they let us. So I just let it happen. Where was that? We were actually at a tough filming. We were yeah. At a tough yeah, filming. It was filming. Yeah, yeah, it was in Vegas. Yeah, it was in Vegas. And we were just looking. Uh, I That's called right. my buddy up, Scrape, Skyscrape. He owned the company Tap Out okay. at the time. And Is he uh, tall by any chance? He's giant, okay. right? Like, he's giant. <laughs> good giant. Dude. Super good dude. And he <laughs> yeah. made some connections, got us, and said, oh, you guys can have a tour. And we were touring the, the facility there at the time, the yeah. original. And he was like, hey. Uh, you know, they're filming. Do you want to do that too? And we weren't supposed to be there, yeah. right? And so we were all in there, and he brought his dog, and she's barking while they're filming. And, <laughs> and uh, you know, sitting next to us is Dana White, the owner of Pilgrim Studios, the executive producer of Tough, uh, and then all the other brilliant workers. Like, okay, we don't belong here. And at the, they, the, the show was over, and then Dana invited us in the back. I, I kind of threw a couple questions at him. He yeah. answered them gracefully, and they shuffled him out of the room. For me, that was a big moment because yeah. he took the time to, to, to listen and then answer some questions. And, um, you know, he was what it was, stick by the people, stick by your original people. I was like, hey, what would you tell? That's a, what he said. Yeah, a, stick with your people. Yeah, I was like, yeah. uh, what would you tell a fighter if you, could, if you could tell him something and he would listen and apply it? And he was like, stick to the people that originally. And then he said, um, he said, uh, take risk on the opportunity that you see. He said, a lot of things in front of you will present itself as fear or as embarrassment. He says, those are opportunities. And he says, jump on every single one of those that you possibly can uh, because they're disguised as what you don't want to do. And uh, he he said that, and to me, that was good advice. That's a great lesson. And so every time I I feel that that inkling of, oh, we don't need it, go. Do it. Go hard. Yeah. And then... The other advice was um, stop asking so many questions. Stop asking questions. <laughs> Get out of my Security. office. Security. <laughs> Dana you White, thank you it. very much. Yeah. 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 So that but, was my moment. No, uh, we had a good conversation with them. Yeah. And, mm-hmm. uh, and it was good to sit down a minute and have that conversation mm-hmm. with them. Did you have any moment, any any? people that have come across the, the fandom or, I mean, you might even get Instagram messages from people the who Black are celebs Mail? that are friends, that are just are fans or whatever. Um, well, I don't do any social media. Okay. I really don't even so know So you haven't met exists. anyone that was just like an idol of yours and <laughs> um, like, wow, like this is something well, um, I didn't expect to meet because we, of the situation we, we've been we in. We did this uh, oil and gas show. Um, I played a little bit of pool um, and I was really never good at it. Mm-hmm. Uh, or as good as I wanted to the be. The words of a true pool shark. <laughs> <laughs> true that, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, uh, but Jeanette Lee was there. Uh, another company had hired her mm-hmm. just to be play, an okay. play pool. Yeah. Um, anyway, and um, I got to play her a game of pool. And uh, she... You annihilated me. <laughs> <laughs> Far uh, good for good enough at first, though, for her to be like, okay, I got to okay, try. Yeah. <laughs> um, it, but it was a good time. Uh, you know, there was a lot of jokes. It kind of uh, broke up the seriousness, you know, because Asian brought his humor and jokes into it, and yeah. we were just goofing around. Right. And it was actual real experience, not just was. something that was right. awkward was. and kind of fat. That's right. And the That's crowd right. drew, yeah, right? Yeah, because yeah. most guys went in there with their ego. And we're watching right. these guys yeah. go in there with their ego, thinking, and he went in there just trying to play, right. and then I'm in there barking, right? right. Like, you ain't got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you know? So and, uh, yeah. it, it was a good time. Uh, the Black Widow. Yeah. Um, she uh, is 
phenomenal pool player. Um, I'd play you in pool. Oh, I'll nice. Play I'll play. I, go. I'm no count at the it. Sneaky, the, so the thing, I'll give, I'll give you a lesson going forward. Never play someone from the UK in pool. Oh. If the, and, and the uh, only qualifying question you can ask them is, so not everyone's good at from the UK pool, but ask them if they played snooker growing up. Snooker. Well, if they played snooker growing up, they'll, they're very good at pool because the pool, pool table and snooker table pockets are much tighter back home. Whereas the pool table pockets here are like buckets. I, I've played snooker. So they'll run the table. I've played yeah. in England. Yeah. And uh, I've gotten my ass kicked mm-hmm. pretty good. Yeah. Um, but we'll try for a thousand bucks. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. But yeah, um, it, it's it's like a long alleyway, the pocket. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, they're in America, they're five gallon buckets. Yeah. So I enjoy playing pool out here. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't very good back home, but I'm much better. I'll plug these and bring in the pool table. He's like, roll it in. Yeah. That's our next YouTube video. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> That's the next YouTube video for sure. Um, last question then. Obviously, people know you for cars, know you for crazy you know, creations and the YouTube and the social media and the TV show and all of the good stuff over the last 10 years. I mean, outside of all this stuff, like, what are you, what are you interested in outside of this stuff? What do you do for fun? Like, do you just sit and read or listen to music? Like, what, what do you do to just kind of like, because you do this all the time and you've right. done it for so long. You know I mean, what? Do you go back to wood carving and doing handyman stuff. Like, what? We know that um, this will not last forever. Right. You know, um, all the best TV shows that they've come and gone. Yeah. You know, um, and we know it'll end, but right now. Uh, we just want to keep working and keep giving it everything we got. Uh, there'll be time to rest. Uh-huh. Uh, you know, there'll be time to, you know, sit by the fireplace and read yeah. or listen to music or whatever people want to do. Uh, that doesn't do much for us. All right. Yeah. Uh, you know. Uh, yeah. We'll be we'll be racing somewhere. That's for sure. Whenever yeah. all this is over, we'll keep doing it till we till till we've g- gotten exhausted. Yeah, right. Yeah. Um, but we we do have our own. You know, he likes to cruise around in the boat. You like to do some boating, and sure, stuff like that, right? Um, there's simple hobbies. I mean, I think that in life you have to separate your your sexy from your boring. Sure, yeah. And sometimes yeah. you, you gotta, gotta have sexy, a good way to get away. from You do it. right, yeah. and so you have either have a sexy job or a sexy hobby, vice versa, mm-hmm. and, and then that way it doesn't. But I think that we're probably a little more introverted than most, yeah. right? And so. Um, for, for us, it's just doing car stuff with our friends. Um, for me, I like, he knows this, I, I like starting little businesses. I like yeah. finding ways uh-huh. to innovate a, an idea or a little product and see if it takes off, right? Um, so what we're doing just on a smaller scale is actually more fun. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, um, yeah, you can go do a burnout in front of a, a crowd of 40,000 or you can race and crowd. But the real joy those are great memories yeah. and, and awesome experiences, but the real joy comes from just doing stuff with the people you care about, right? Yeah. And so that's right. Which is a good thing you guys get to do that a lot. Yeah, right. That's right. <laughs> that's right. We figured that out. Which, yeah. You know, a lot of people wish they could do the same thing yeah, too. Yeah, that's that's um, pure joy. Yeah. Out there, you have regrets. Oh, I, 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 sl- I slipped. I fell. I you have all these problems. But when you're just with your team, there's no problems. There's no judgment. Yeah. It's just what you're doing is what you're supposed to be doing, and that's. I think that's what we're all trying to achieve. You know, when guys want to work a job for 50 years and retire, well, mm-hmm. they, want to, they want to do nothing, right? Yeah, they yeah, want to yeah. do less of what they were just doing. And so yeah. I think you, you go through this story arc of, of amazing, and then you want to bring it back down and just have the depreciating terms of what returns of what you really want to do. Right. Maybe. So what a great way to put it. Um, I kind of want to, I want to ask you one more question. Please. What are you Googling right now? What am I Googling? Yeah, what, what's, what are you researching? What are you interested in that's just like the next thing what's to Google? do? What's <laughs> Google? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, well, electric, uh, so r- for me, it's it's where the car industry is going. Okay. Right, so I'm studying where the car industry because no one's talking about it, right? And I As have, far as just electric and general stuff or just car, like yeah. everything? Yeah, for, for me, it's... it's Everything, yeah. Everything. I have a not not to the point where you're. I'm trying to figure out if we're going to war. Uh, nothing like that. Just or stay in my land industry with the with the cars. But that in itself tells us a bigger story, right? Because yeah, yeah, the economy yeah, yeah. is involved in this and that and the other. So for me, it's just trying to understand where and why we're going this direction and how it's going to affect us and the rest of the world. Sure. Um, like a lot of people don't know that four racetracks have closed in the past three months, and Amazon has bought all of them. Really. Why? 
why is that? like across the country yeah yeah right and so why is amazon buying drag mm-hmm. strips why is it drag and i'm sure they're buying other pieces of land again you can delve and, and but fall it's into, available land that's but it's available yeah. land i don't know right and then there's and i guess cheap land compared to just normal land sure. if that makes sense yeah, but like normally people is, go out and buy a racetrack or sure. a drag strip there's things on, on that property where a drag strip is that have to be removed yeah and you see it all the time there's open fields you Everywhere, know right yeah. across the street but they're buying interesting yeah the drag strip you know california just outlawed all single piston engines why did they do that yeah. right like that's another i don't know i don't know why right i'm researching so to, to yeah. answer your question Rob, i'm researching um why these these epa changes are, are happening so yeah. quickly i get it it's like hey guys oh we just noticed single piston engines produce more pollution than cows okay we need to make that change yeah. but they're trying to change everything all at once very quickly with an influx of money um ev by 2025 is going to be more than half of the vehicles on the road right right um why i'm, I'm just curious um and then and, you know, what's going to happen to petrol, what's going to happen to the oil gas industry. Um, okay. These are – Oklahoma's involved in that. Huge issue. It's a huge issue that yeah. nobody's talking about. Um, everybody's just worried about themselves and the cost of gas, whereas yeah. there's a bigger picture that's happening that we should maybe understand or we can live on with our lives. But you ask me what I'm Googling. Until it's too late. That's, yeah. what I'm that's really interesting. Trying to figure that out. Yeah. Just scroll Craigslist every night see what the next <laughs> idea is. <laughs> okay, so it's just over to point. Well, <laughs> I, I don't – don't yeah. know how to get on Craigslist. That's his TikTok. That's I don't his know how TikTok. to get on Craigslist. <laughs> yeah. And luckily... Do they, do they print out Craigslist? <laughs> the timing of that, a guy sent it to me. Okay. Right? I say yeah. I found it on Craigslist, yeah. but a buddy of mine yeah. found it That's and right. sent it a to screenshot. me. Yeah. It was yeah. perfect timing. Perfect timing. You know? <laughs> so just the universe aligning. He finds stuff. Yeah. Through luck. Stuff finds me. It, People whatever. know now. People <laughs> know that, like, if they see something strange, they, do. they know who to send it. That's do. right. A dinosaur yeah. or, yeah. you know, whatever. They send but, it to him. Yeah. But. Not thinking about anything like the rest of the world. <laughs> He's doing. He's yeah. doing. Okay. I'm I'm trying to, in my own head, yeah, yeah, yeah. fix the world's pro- I'm doing nothing. I'm doing right. nothing. But- <laughs> yeah, right. You do the creative he stuff. Wor- he you works more than all of us put together. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, so. well, I mean, gents, I appreciate it. This has been no. awesome. Uh, Wait some second. great stories. Wait a second. <laughs> yeah. I know you got one more question in you. I got a lot. Just, you got one I, more. Uh, all, right. all right. I'm going to ask you something really philosophical. Okay. Uh, let me find it real quick. It's in my notes. And I, to, I'll be honest with you. I take don't your time. Pick out take, a good one. I don't take notes to podcasts um, for the most part because it's not authentic. But for this one, I'm like, you guys have done a lot. It's going to need some notes. Awesome. Um, so where is it? Um, I asked you that one. Um, now, if you ask us one that you've already asked, I know. that'll be easy to answer. Yeah, I'll put, answer it differently. <laughs> <laughs> asked you that one, asked you that one, done that one. Let's see. The problem is I didn't ask them in order, so I don't know. <laughs> You're good. You're good. Uh, done that one. Da, da, da. Uh, let's see. All right. If you've got one car, one road. For whenever you could just put yourself if you're dreaming and you're driving one car down the best road in the world where you've ever been what is the car and where's the road wow um and that's not the one i was trying to ask you but that's the one that came in so i'll look for the other one. okay <laughs> well um i would have to say um the road could be anywhere okay it could be in oklahoma that's true right? that's true yeah and if it was a nice straight road I'd take the farm truck uh-huh. any day of the week. Okay. And I'd take my Nova. Yeah. That's I right. would. I would. Yeah. It's funny. Um, he was driving his Nova. I was driving the farm truck on Route 66. And that's where we met. Yeah. yeah. So it all kind of goes back to the baseline. But right. it's, it's uh, his farm truck, he's had it forever. And my car was is a longer story. But it's it, it was sold. Yeah. Came back. Got fully yeah. restored, made dreams come true, mm-hmm. right? Changed my life. Um, and so I can't say that we haven't, I have, I, my life is fully fulfilled. Mm-hmm. There's nothing in my yeah. life that I'm looking forward to that I haven't done yet. Straight up. That, yeah. That's the truth. I could die today and I hope everyone figures out my shit, yeah. you know, and deals with it, right? Yeah. Uh, there, I have nothing in my life that I need to do. Straight up. That's, that's awesome. That's, that's the truth. It's a good idea. Yeah. 
It's time to go drive down that road. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that is a good. A lot of people have things that are unfulfilled, and that's that's a good one. You know, hey, yeah. it could be a it could be a Lamborghini, it could be anything like that. I think that they're, they're closer to that dream than they realize. Yeah. Right. Yeah. They really are. And the good thing is, back to asking questions, you can either ask questions to figure it out, or you can ask questions to find out someone who owns one and ask you if you can go for a you ride. You can get there really right. quickly, can't you, by exactly. asking questions? Yeah. We're just one degree of separation from reaching our dreams, right. but nobody will ask questions. Yeah. Everyone thinks, I'll figure it out on my own, or I think I know the answers, or um, or I'm just, their ego's too big, right? right? Um, and I think, man, we are all just one question away from being successful. Yeah. Truly. Yeah. That, yeah. I believe that. That's... The uh, the question I did find that I was going to ask you that was the philosophical one, which that, those answers are pretty no, wait. up there. This is um, two. I only is, asked for one. Yeah. You'll like this one. Though. <laughs> this one's going to be a great finisher. Um, okay. Looking back on everything, when were you the most happiest? Looking back on everything, when were you the most happiest? Well, we don't have time to think about being happy. <laughs> 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 like, got to do what's next. Right. No. Huh. I think after the first season. If you're talking about a micro moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. um, we were proud of what we did right. after mm -hmm. the first. Well, we're proud of everything that we've done, whether people like it or not, uh, because there was a lot of effort and sweat put into everything that we've done. Um, but we were especially proud of the first season. Uh, you know, here we are, a couple of turd kickers from Oklahoma. Um, Hollywood comes out. Um, they have some ideas that they want us to do. And we told them, no, we don't want to do that. We have our own ideas. Uh, and they went with it. And we were proud that yeah. uh, Hollywood thought that we had good ideas. We were really proud. And then, you know, now you got to replicate it, right. right? So I always tell people, how many times do you need to do something until you say you did it? Because yeah, yeah, everyone's yeah. like, well, i got to do it again. No, you don't. You did yeah, it. You had the same it, right. story. And so we did it the first time. We knocked it out. It was, it was hell week for us. Mm -hmm. And um, we, we got it done. And we said we, we filmed some television. Yeah. We are on top of the world for once. You know, the show hit number one. Felt really good. Yeah. After that, everything else is just a, a copy of that, gotcha. right? And it's great. Yeah. You, you you absorb it. Mm -hmm. You take it with you. Um, but for me, that's that was the most joy is knowing that I did something with my friends. We accomplished it. We were successful, and we had a story to tell. That's so right. That was it. Yeah. Great way to finish, gents. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank like, you. I have an hour and twenty minutes of your time, and I I mean. When I said to Lou two years ago when we recorded this, like I didn't expect to get this much. So I really appreciate it. And it's been worth waiting for. And hopefully we'll get to do this again whenever awesome. you guys we'll want. Yeah, let's do it. We'd love to watch so, you grow, yeah. man. Thanks, it's, man. It's, I appreciate awesome. it. Thanks for um, your contribution to Oklahoma. Yeah, someone's got to do it, right? Yeah, you did. <laughs> That's right. Uh, for everyone listening, I'll post uh, all the links to the social medias of the guys. And you can check them out if you haven't heard of them or never seen them do the stuff that they do. Um, if you just want to see who they are, just Google the Asian nitrous chip video. <laughs> and that'll give you a perfect example of who these two gentlemen are. Don't what they do. Do. <laughs> do not but, look at uh, that. Thanks so much for listening. We'll catch you next episode. Cheers. See you. This podcast is presented by the Oklahoma Hall of Fame, telling Oklahoma stories through its people since 1927. Follow them online at oklahomahof.com and definitely on Instagram at oklahomahof. Thank you for listening. We are inspired by those around us and hope that you are too. Make sure you subscribe to this podcast on your favorite podcast platform and leave us a review so we can keep telling your stories. For more great Oklahoma content, follow This Is Oklahoma on Facebook and Instagram.